So as it turns out, there is another pretty major part of the upcoming Bloodhound update that we didn't get to go over in yesterday's video, and that is the fact that Blackbuck are going to be getting their true horns. So I thought we'd come here to Parque Fernando with Rocky again today, and we're going to go and hopefully get to see as many Blackbuck true horns as we can. So we did get to hunt them on stream a bit, and the one place that we definitely didn't get to is down here. So I want to check out this lake. I think they still drink there. And I definitely want to go to this lake first, because like I said, we have hunted them a bit, but since we didn't get to do it in the video yesterday, I thought we'd kind of spend today's hunt doing that. And actually, I didn't think there were any here. I only saw a couple of does, but that is a decent sized buck. I want to see if we can get him to go a little bit broadside, because most animals kind of run around the water like that. And the doe is. So hopefully, if he wants to cooperate, if we can get any kind of decent shot, and I think we might have gotten vitals, we can have Rocky track him and everything, and that should be a pretty good start to our black buck hunt. I think we we're probably pushing it, but that is vital blood, so we'll send him on the trail. And by the way, since we're going to have a second as he goes to track that, we are up to level 18 with companionship and level 10 uh, tracking now. I'm not sure if it'll happen during this video, but if we get to level 20, we'll be able to choose a new trait here, either sharp or spotted, and I think we're going to get spotted to try to test that out during this early access period. But anyway, it looks like he found our black buck for us, and he still does take a while to actually start barking. I'm not sure if that is a thing that maybe does change with level, but finally found it. One other thing I missed, by the way, is the fact that we can give the dog treats. So we were pushing it, but that's a 121 scoring black buck where 132 is diamond. Definitely not a bad start, and I like the different colors we'll see with the horns, and that's just going to be something as we go along. So we will taxonomize that just to take a look again in the trophy lodge. And if we have him sit for us, you can buy the treats in the store under consumables. And once he's doing that, we can go to the interact menu and just give him a treat. I've definitely seen this lake in the past have like multiple herds of black buck near Canada, but as far as I can tell, there's just a couple of individual ones here. And I think this is the best one. When we go for our shot, we're going to pay attention to make sure that no bigger ones run off. That guy dropped in his tracks, and one of the things that we didn't show during the video last time is that the dogs actually kind of can track those as well. Now, of course, there's nothing really to track. I mean, the animal dropped right where we shot it, but if we set him off to find blood, he is going to actually go over to it, and I assume at least it gives him some XP. I can't recall him ever leveling up from doing this, but eventually he's going to do his thing where he sort of walks around for a moment and tries to find it, and he should start barking for us that he found it in a moment. There we go. So yeah, I really don't know. I assume that's got to give some amount of XP. Maybe less than the amount that he would get for like a normal track. But when we're dropping animals, we definitely want to make sure we have him find them. But it's 1130 now. I think our only real option is to go to this lake. We don't have many others where we can just fast travel and immediately be on Black Buck. That's actually a kind of interesting looking level 4. Because he's got more, like, narrow horns, so what we're going to do, because we have the 243, is use the 22 strat. I'm going to shoot near him, and zeroing for 300 should be just about perfect. See if we can make, like, a hard shot. Probably a bit far right, but he's going to be into a lung. I think that's the narrowest one we've seen so far, and it should be a goal, I think, with that estimate. So probably another one we can put in the trophy lodge and kind of compare when we're all done. So we went ahead and let Rocky find him to get XP from it. We'll praise him. And I want to get a look at this, because like I said, it's a pretty narrow one. 118 gold. That's a lot different than most of the others we've seen. He is still barking away, so probably once we claim this, he'll stop. But we'll taxonomize that. And one other thing I wanted to show, for one, we're going to give him a treat, because I think that does like increase the bond if we do it after they successfully complete a task. So we'll give him another treat. Or I think we went to sit again. It was sort of highlighting both. But let's give him that. And I do want to show another uh, little trait that we got for him. So if we go into this little extended menu, we can have him just kind of howl on command. It's a neat little thing. I'm not sure that there's uh, any use for it. I don't know if it maybe is more likely to make wolves do anything. It would be nice to know. But I didn't see any info there. I also didn't see whatever this other Max Waysmith black buck is, so I think we may go and try to find him. 
I don't know if he got stuck or how he actually caught up to him that much, but he's just a smaller level 4. If we can get down here where there's a little more room, we'll try to make some kind of shot on him. It would be nice to get him like in the neck and not have to track him, but if we hit him poorly, we might get to see a little bit of the tracking when you don't have a fatal hit. Still can't actually get much of an angle. I'm gonna guess we got into liver or something, because he's going down pretty quick. So at least we can claim him and kind of reset the time and get back on black buck hunting. And I'm kind of curious to see, that is a gold at 106.5, so there probably are going to be level 4s that end up being a silver. But this is a very different color. I mentioned the horn colors, and this is like a, a really light, uh, at least compared to everything else, kind of similar to some of the Ibex in the Hunter Classic, so that might be something we see more and more with like True Axe and True Horns. But one thing we need to make sure we do, especially if we want to try to get up to uh, level 20 with the companion skill, is keep him at the max bond. So we want to play with him and pet him every now and then. But let's go to a outpost. We'll just go back where we came from and reset the time back to the beginning of Black Buck drink time. I don't know how we're going to try to get a shot in there, but we have a level 4 leucistic Black Buck. I think it's similar size to the other small one we shot where it may actually be even below gold. I want to get a better look at the horns because they're a little bit uneven. Actually, maybe a lot uneven, but he is completely kind of hidden behind a couple of females. That's a long shot to rush, like to go with the 22 strat, like alerting him. Maybe if we just get over here, there might be enough of a gap to get a shot in. I'm really not sure, but definitely that one being leucistic, I'd like to get the shot in case he makes gold. So 320-ish meters. I mean, we could try to go all the way around. But for a smaller level 4, even if it is leucistic, I don't want to waste, like, a bunch of Black Buck drink time yet. Probably should have Rocky stay, especially when we're trying to go for such a long shot. If we finally get it lined up, we don't need him walking in front of us. So I want to let it go and drink again, just so we have all the time to line it up, even though he really took his time there. And I think... Just from all the red fox grinding, it should be just like a little above his spine. Hopefully that's going to dip into a lung. We are really not going to be able to tell. We did get him spotted and I think we got him there. He really does look uneven, which just kind of makes it a little more interesting him being leucistic as well. Well, that's a little unfortunate because I wanted to maybe do something like with the piebald moose where we got a picture of Rocky beside it. But with it down in the brush, that's not really going to work that well. So let's praise him. And let's see what we have for this, because with those uneven horns, I'm not sure what to expect. He is actually a gold at 109. Wow. Those are entirely different, so I'm not sure about the colors being different. I don't know if that's something that would happen, but the difference between the left and the right is just huge. That might be one of the like least similar true acts of any, any kind, like true horns or antlers. They're so different, but we'll still taxidermize him. He's still interesting looking. Not exactly what I thought he was going to be when we got up to him. But anyway, I wanted to get Rocky taken care of to get him up to the maximum bond again. And I think what we're going to do for the rest of this is go up to this lake. I don't know that we hunted for Black Buck here yet. And then I want to get over to this spot as well, because I know Black Buck drink there. At least on some maps they do, and I know we haven't checked there at all. That's a massive estimate for a level 3 black buck. It's gotta be the width that's like adding to it. Because 106 is a minimum. That's definitely gold. I think 106.3 or 106.2 is gold. So unless he's right at the bottom end, he should make it. And there actually was a 4 over on this side somewhere. And I don't know if he was close enough to hear that shot. Well, seeing that, I'm going to guess at least that the male spooked as well. There's also another female back there, uh, warning calling, but it must have been like right at 200 meters, because it was pretty far away, but anyway, what is the deal with this guy? He's 108.3, he is pretty wide, the spread's 21, which I think that's maybe one of the highest I've seen, and it's gotta be like from tip to tip basically, but since he's a gold, we might as well taxonomize him and compare, and just since this lake was a little more of a letdown than I was hoping for, Let's go and see if we can get to this spot again. So we shot a troll five there on the live stream, and I'm hoping it's 11.30 now. Maybe if we set the time back to 
we can get up there in time to catch any black buck that are in that area. That's a pretty good looking four again. I wonder if we can get a quick shot into the lungs there. Just to bring him down. There's not a lot of room. Once they go like around this edge, they kind of get all hidden. That's another good one there too though. So I don't know if it was just like bad timing or if a puma came through, but none of them were in their drink zone back there and there were just all kinds of fleeing tracks. I think for once, just because we have that other good one to try to get, we're not going to have Rocky find this. It is a good looking level 4 though. 121.9 score. I don't know if that was our best one or not. Because I know we had one other pretty decent one. Can we actually see around the edge? Because sometimes they hang like right tight to the water. And sometimes they'll go sort of up in the trees where that mule deer was going. There's more drinking there too. I think that's our guy there. I'm pretty sure 128 was the top estimate. Ooh. Gosh, I don't know if that was a hard shot or what, but it looked like he fell pretty hard, so I think that'll be a pretty good way to wrap up our black buck hunt, actually. Pretty happy with that shot. And this one we're actually letting Rocky find, so we can praise him for that. We'll actually have him sit as well, so we can give him a treat in a second. What did we do here? Just straight into the back of the heart. That's a 112 gold, so he's not that big. It was just a pretty high estimate. But I think we have like five or six gold black buck mounted. And one last thing before we head off, we're going to give Rocky a treat. That's an interesting thing that I haven't done before. Is that just how that works? So one thing you can do when you're away from the dog is just tap B and it'll have him heal. Is that? Yeah, if you just tap B close to the dog, it just pets it. I like the little shortcuts and I wonder if there's other ones as well. But I did want to actually give him a treat for doing that successfully. We'll give him that real quick. And we'll go back to the Trophy Lodge and just kind of compare all the Black Book that we got today. And just having them all side by side like that, you really get a sense of how much variety there is in horns that are like pretty uniform. I mean, other than the Leucistic, I think they're all pretty much perfectly even. And there's none that really look all that similar to any of the ones mounted here, which is pretty cool. And I do wish the Leucistic had like any of the other horns, because we got this weird set of horns which... I don't know if that could really happen in real life, like the collar thing is the biggest thing. You could almost imagine an injury or something causing the different sort of shape and mass and stuff. But I don't know why they'd have such a different color, that's a bit of an odd combination for the horns, but I like that. I think it's really cool to see, and I'm looking forward to seeing the different variations of diamonds, because I really hope there's one like this with the like sort of narrow horns, and maybe one like this that has less spirals and more kind of mass, that's just something we'll have to see as we go along, but definitely cool to get to see them, and cool to bring Rocky out on another hunt, and get him close to level 20 on that uh, companion skill. I think we're still like 60% away. We're working our way there, and getting to see more and more of what the Bloodhounds are capable of, but anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.